Hello friends and welcome to another session on gems of geometry. So today we are going to continue with uh, the theorem which we proved in the last session. So if you have not seen that I would recommend uh, you just go and check it out once. So the previous theorem was that if I have a triangle ABC something like that ABC so I'm just giving you a recap. But you can just have a look in the previous video, you will get the same thing. And there are, uh, you know, uh, triangles drawn like this. So let me name first A, B, C. And there are triangles drawn on the, on these, you know, exterior of the A, B, C triangle on the sides like that. So three triangles are being drawn, let's say like that. And let's say like this. Okay. Three triangles are drawn. Let's say P, Q, R. P, Q, R such that angle P that is alpha plus Q that is beta let's say and R let's say gamma. So if what did we prove in the previous case alpha plus beta plus gamma is equal to 180 degrees. Let us say this condition is fulfilled. Then the circumcircle of these three triangles which one A, Q, C. So let us say that is the part of the circumcircle here like that and that of BCR so let that be right like that something like that and APB so all three circumcircles are going to have a common point like that so I'm just drawing roughly so this will be the common point where all the three semicircles which one so let me change the color for different triangles so let's say this is one this is one let me this this is one right the other one is let's say um this one so let me change the color so this one okay this is what we learned in the previous session and the third one is let's say something like that something like that right so they will have a common point here Okay, this was the case. So, what is the condition? Condition is alpha plus beta plus gamma must be 180 degrees. Then it is true. And we demonstrated, we constructed as well as proved it. Yep. Now, this particular theorem, which is called pivot theorem, which was discovered in the year 1838. Okay. So, this is special case of the theorem, which we discussed in the previous session. So, hence proving will not take much of a time here. Right. So, if we consider that this particular theorem which we discussed in the previous theorem is true, then pivot theorem becomes very easy to understand. Now, what is pivot theorem? Pivot theorem says that if points D, E, N, F lie on the sides A, B, so this is A, B, B, C and C, D, C, A of a triangle A, B, C, then the circumcircles of triangle A, D, F, B, E, D and C, F, E, these three semicircles, oh sorry, circumcircles are going to have a common point which is P here. You can see that, right? Once again, this is called the pivot theorem where point P is called the pivot. So, this is pivot, guys. Pivot. Okay, P is the point pivot. And what is this? So, it is saying points D, E, F lie on the sides A, B, B, C. So, it is D is on A, B, E is on B, C, and F is on C, A. Of a triangle ABC, then the circumcircles of triangle ADF. So I've drawn this circumcircle. This one is the circumcircle of ADF. Circumcircle of uh, BED will be this, and circumcircle of CFE is this, right? So they are indeed meeting at one point. Okay, and uh, it has to be true. Why? Because if you look at this particular case, so let's try to relate these two cases. So here. Instead of ABC, the internal triangle, which is ABC here, I have demonstrated or showed it as DEF, right? And uh, the remote angles are A, B, and C in this case, if you see. So, there's a triangle made out of DF as a side and uh, DE as a side and FE as a side on the external side of the triangle DEF. And uh, very clearly, A plus B plus C has to be 180 degrees. There is no doubt about it because angle sum property of a triangle. So, hence... By the theorem which we proved in the previous uh, session, we can say that the three same uh, circumcircles are going to meet at point P. Okay, this is called pivot theorem. Now let us try to validate it. So what I'm going to do is, in this construction, I have shown three, you know, the point P's, uh, point P, A, B, C, D, E, F, and all. 
So let us try to change the locations of all these points. Which one? Uh, let's say let's keep A, B, C as fixed and let's change the position of D, F, and E. So let us say if I take F somewhat here, so you can see it is it is um yep indeed or in all the cases you'll you'll see that the three circum circles are meeting at point p so let me just animate it fully so now you can see a beautiful pattern isn't it so can you see there are different different uh, locations of uh, d e and f as d e and f are changing position so is the triangle d e f and in all the cases you can see the circum circles are always always intersecting at point p right so the circum circles are always intersecting at point p that is there is a common point for the three semicircles so that is this is what i wanted to show you in this particular session pure theorem the proof is not required or indeed or in fact we did the proofing because uh, in the last session we proved a general theorem whose specific case is pure theorem right as i told you this was discovered in the year 1838 and the point p is called pivot right i hope you understood this theorem so let's meet with another i'll meet all of you with another theorem in the next session thank you for watching this video